Well, here I'm going to use the full star vegetable chopper to chop up these vegetables. We're just going to try, these are kind of medium sized potatoes. Let's see how this thing works. Just push it down like that and look at that. Just slices right through. If it's a little bit large, you can always cut your potatoes in half, but it does chop through just fine. Let's check the other vegetables. So I usually have to chunk the carrots down a little bit. They can be a little hard to chop through, so I'll do only like a couple of them and kind of go in the angle direction that I'll be pushing down on the blades. And there you go. They chop just great that way. Now for the onions, they can be a little difficult to chop, so I just put them into quarters. And now let's try slicing it. Nice, all at once. Sure beets happen to spend extra in order to buy the chopped onions. Just use this thing and in no time at all, you can have your onion chopped. Now for cleanup, you just take this little tool right here and kind of work it in on the side and it cleans up pretty easily, just like that. And for the metal grates, you need to be a little more careful. Use this brush. Use this brush because if you touch these grates, you're trying to get the carrots out or whatever, it's going to cut you. They're very, very sharp. Well, we finished uh, checking out the chopper blades, and now let's look at these spiralizer blades. They have a serrated blade like this, um, and kind of a straight edge blade like that. One of these does a ribbon cut, and another one does a regular spiralizing cut, or ribbon blade. I'm not sure which one I have in here. Let's see how that looks. Oh yes, that's a ribbon blade. Look at that, nice ribbon cut. Yeah, it works great. You just stick your vegetable in and just spin it around. And when the vegetable gets lower, there's this little unit that you can poke on the end that uh, can help you push the, the uh, vegetables down as they get smaller. Let's go ahead and try the other blade. We're going to need to take this out. You can see a nice little ribbon cut. Okay, and we're going to try the spiralizing blade. Kind of has little clips here that the that it snaps into. So I'm going to pull this blade out and insert the other one, the spiralizing blade right here. And we might as well use this little thing here. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, it's spiralizing nicely. So that's how these little blades work. You got a ribbon blade and you got a spiralizer blade. You can just stick it in here, spin this around, and voila, you have spiralized vegetables.